all right shalom yeah sharala peace is all first and foremost as always i want to give all praises and honor and glorification due to yahweh bahashem yahweh shah bahashem bokakadash double honor to the head apostles and elders of great Nelson gemis who will walk in much love honor and respect to the hopefully like i am out there laboring in this ministry pushing this gospel all across the globe in righteousness in sincerity and in truth and also shalom to the akiam wakwaf that may be tuning in listening learning studying under the vibration of yahweh bashim moshah bashim kakadash yahweh that's the hebrew name of whom the royal egnotical god the god of abraham isaac and jacob yahweh means he is he to be he exists the being that existed before time also known as the issue of days in yahweh shachamash that's the hebrew name of his beloved son whom the world ignorant called jesus christ yahweh shah means he who saved he who deliver the savior of the elect of the nation is all baha sham baha who should in the sham name will call spirit kodash surely in the name of the holy spirit which pretty much allow us to be able to understand this wonderful gospel this is in the paleo hebrew the ancient hebrew the last one kodash the holy tongue the language that yahweh shah spoke to saul on his way to damascus the language of the heavens and once again to worry about shimashai for allowing us to be able to understand this wonderful gospel uh pretty much i just want to do a short lesson real quick in law willing it's edifying pretty much the lord yahweh shimashai is uh setting us in order before our enemy's eyes right the lord is raising up his kingdom the lord is building up a kingdom in the midst of Israel's kingdom you know raising up men uh uh these men that you see out there on the highways and hedges all across the globe lord wallen these men are the next rulers of the world to come man you know that's exactly what the lord is doing the lord is raising up uh, building up building up a kingdom in the midst of Israel's kingdom and that's why you see all this uh, commotion are uh, happening right i don't know you see prophecy are uh, becoming more and more evident than uh than ever before right so that's exactly what it is man in yahweh shimsha is working you know that's exactly the time we're in so matter of fact i have a few precepts lining up you know um a few precepts lining up just want to go over them real quick right uh uh let's go to revelation right because uh all right now right this hebrew israelites movement is well known man is well known not only here in america you know babylon the great but the whole world man you know all people are waking up at a at a, at a, at a higher rate than ever before right and the enemy is uh is grieving man they they are in they are in shock to see what's uh what's happening because these devils esau has spent billion of dollars to put much top stop us from uh, knowing who we are knowing our true biblical identity knowing uh, our culture our heritage our heritage or language right but to worry about the lord uh 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 pretty much uh uh the lord uh make his word come true right the lord uh 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 pretty much it's a the lord it's a great miracle that we were uh, pretty much we uh, woke up to who we are man that's a that's a power of yahweh bashim shai man it's a revelation 11 verse 11 matter of fact i'm also verse uh of verse uh verse uh eight right in the dead body shall lie in the streets of the great city and the great city is what america right that great city put soon to revelation matter of fact let's put that real quick revelation 17 uh of verse uh Revelation 17, verse 4, And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color, in decked with gold and, so and precious stone and pearls, having a golden cup in her hands, full of full of abomination and filthiness of a fornication. And upon her forehead was name written, Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of Holland, and the abomination of the earth. So the city that the scripture talks, is, is talking about is America. You know, America comprises of more uh, citizen statement. And furthermore, American people are known as what? As citizen, right? Uh, it says, uh, Revelation 11, uh, verse uh, 11. Uh, matter of fact, verse 11, 
Revelation 11 verse 8, and the dead body shall lie in the streets of the great city, America, Babylon the Great, right? Which is spiritual, is called Sodom in Egypt. You know, Sodom, you know, because of uh, this homosexual gender, uh, LG, LGBT, X, uh, Q, X, Y, Z, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Esau is, uh, is uh, hell bit on pretty much going against everything everything that the Lord Yahweh Shemshai says not to do, right? It says, uh, in the dead body shall lie in the streets of the great city, which is spiritual, it's called Sodom in Egypt. Egypt is pretty much the house of bondage because uh, 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 the so-called black Hispanics and the Americans serve slavery in ancient Egypt and the same people that serve slavery in ancient Egypt uh, is the same people that is currently being slaved here in America. So into Baruch 3 and 8, the scripture says on uh, Baruch 3 and 8, Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. So we're still in slavery. We still carry the last name of our oppressors. We still uh we have a, a birth certificate. We have a we have a, a driver license, you know. So we are a nation uh, captured by another nation and we are waiting for Yahweh Shai to redeem us, to save us, because pursuant to to the prophecy, Deuteronomy twenty eight, verse sixty eight, it says that no man shall buy you. So the only one that has the power, the only entity out there that has the power to save us, to redeem us from the hand of our enemies is who? Is Yahweh Shai. You know? Yahweh gonna send his son Yahweh Shai to deliver the elect of the nation of Israel. It says, uh, and it says, uh, in the dead body shall lie in the streets of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom in Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. So our, our Lord Yahweh Shai, his, de his depiction, how he, how he looked like, in the Bible, or, or dark skinned men with woolly hair, you know, that's exactly how the Bible described uh, our Lord Yahweh Shai. But in America, they portray the whole world that uh, our Savior is a is a so called white man, which is madness, you know, you know, and his characteristic what 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 he's all about, you know. Uh, the scripture says that the Lord Yahweh Shai is an austere man, you know, his father Yahweh is a man of war, so Yahweh Shai has the same. Uh, characteristic has the same uh, 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 attribute of his father. So if the father Yahweh is a man of four, also Yahweh Shah is a man of four. You know, because they are in agreement. They are. He says uh, in John, the what he or uh, fourteen chapter, he has he that seen me, has seen the father. So Yahweh Shah is a direct replica of his father. Uh, and he says a uh, verse nine. You know, in of the people. In day of the people, in kindred and tongues, a nation shall see the dead bodies three days and a half. So that's three days. That's three hundred uh fifty years. You know, uh sixty nineteen to uh twelve nineteen sixty nine. That's when we uh starting to wake up to who we are. Or elders, elders. You know, elder uh uh Abba Bivins came on the scene. You know, that's when the the Israelite knowledge was pretty much uh starting to come out. You know, it says uh. And after three days and a half, uh, three days and a half, um, in so like a, uh, verse nine, in day of the people in kindred in tongues in nation shall see the dead bodies three days and a half, and shall not suffer the dead bodies to to be put in graves. So this nation, they didn't give a damn about us, man. They pretty much conspired together to keep us down, to oppress us, to to keep us away from our power, our God, Yahweh Bashim Shai. They cut that. They cut off the uh, umbilical cord, man. You know, because they know as soon as we're in good grace with our power, that's the downfall. Uh, uh, verse ten, and they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them and make merry and shall say, give one to another. So when they took us down, they rejoiced, man, because they know how when uh the whole nation was together under King King Solomon, King David, we was kicking the ass. Of the other nations, man. So when they, when they finally took us down, they rejoiced, man. This, they, they, they said this is the day that they were looking for, you know. It says, uh, and after three days and a half, the spirit of the of the Most High Yahweh Bashemisha entered into them, and they stood up on their feet, and that's exactly what's happening right now. The Lord Yahweh Bashemisha is setting us in order before the eyes of our enemies. The Lord Yahweh Bashemisha is um, uh, uh, raising up His kingdom. In the midst of Israel's kingdom, man, and in these devils, man, they are in great fear, man. They see what's happening, 
you know and eventually they, they even and eventually they're gonna come after us you know uh says uh, and they stood upon their feet and great fear uh fell upon them we saw them so these devils they are in great fear they are in panic mode right now man because they see uh they can't stop this uh this prophecy from happening man matter of fact let's get a uh, amos 9 and 8 or quick amos 9 verse 8 amos 9 and 8 uh amos 9 verse 8 and it says uh behold the eyes of the lord yahweh by shemeshire power are upon the sinful kingdom so we know when the scripture was written the sinful kingdom at that time was israel right but right now it's applying to america you know that's exactly uh who the sinful kingdom is on this side uh in most nervous it behold the eyes of the lord the eyes of the lord are who the eyes of the lord yahweh shimishai are the angels the angels pretty much uh are taking notes every day every hour and they're reporting back to the heavenly father behold the eyes of the lord power are upon the sinful kingdom so america is a sinful kingdom what right? the most the most wickedness the most wicked kingdom ever known to mankind because of everything you know everything that the lord yahweh shimishai despised that's what the Esau uh, promoted here, you know. Uh, it says, uh, and I will destroy it from the face of the earth. So that's the, the destiny of this place. This place will be destroyed uh, uh, from off the face of the earth, man. This land, this land mass will never be inhabited anymore, you know. And I will destroy it from the from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, save the Lord. So, and that's exactly what it is, a, a remnant of all people, the elect. Uh, uh, the creme de la creme, you know, uh, uh, the cream of the crops, right? Those are the one that's gonna make it uh, when all hell be close, when the when the when the destruction uh, comes, you know, uh, uh, Yahusha gonna come to save the elect of the nation of Israel. It says, uh, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, save the Lord, you know, and that's exactly what it is, right? And and that's exactly this devil. They can stop. Uh, 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 matter of fact. Matter of fact, verse eleven, right? Yeah, go down, right? Says, "For lo, I will command and and will save the house of Israel among all the nations. So all nations are scattered among all the other nations, man. That's what you have the the diaspora. The word diaspora goes back to the word disbursement. So we were scattered from before winds of the earth. Matter of fact, let's prove that real quick, man. Uh, uh, Tobit, uh." 13 and 3, you know, Tobit 13 verse 3, right, Craig? Uh, Tobit 13 and 3, confess him, confess him before the Gentile, the children of Israel, for he had scattered us among them. So we, the Israelites, all the 12 tribes, are, uh, are scattered among the Gent among the other nations, the natural Gentiles, you know? You know, that's exactly uh, the Lord gonna, uh, 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 pretty much, um, the Lord pretty much going to, to, to save uh, the elect that are scattered among all these other nations. It's uh, Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 28, verse 64. Let's get that real quick. Deuteronomy 28, verse 64. Uh, Deuteronomy 28, verse 64. And it says, uh, And the Lord Yahweh Bashimashai shall scatter thee among all people. You know, scatter, disperse. The Lord uh, 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 scatter us, disperse us uh, among all the nations. You know, you're not going to have. Israelites looking like the white men, looking at the the Japanese, the Chinese, the Africans, you know, the Ethiopians, the Arabs, you know, like we said before, right? It's not a it's not a, a color thing with us. It's a it's a nationhood thing, you know. You are who your father is, man. You know, in the Lord Yahweh Shemeshai shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth even into the other, and there thou shalt serve other gods. Which neither thou nor thy father have known, even wooden stone. So the wooden stone goes into the goes into the, the Christianity, Christianity in uh in Islam, you know what I'm saying? So that's exactly what it is, man. You know, and the Lord scattered us among all the nations. But right now, what you see happening, the Lord is gonna gather us from among all these other nations. You know, matter of fact, let's put that very quick this on Baruch five and five, Baruch five verse five, the Lord is doing the great gathering and that's exactly why these people are in a panic mode they are they are uh, angry right now because they can stop this uh movement they can stop uh the work of yahweh from uh coming to pass 
Baruch 5, verse 5, he says, uh, Arise, come, arise, O Yerushalayim, and stand on high, and look about toward the east, and behold, thy children gather from the west unto the east by the word of the Holy One, rejoicing in the remembrance of the Messiah. So, and that's exactly what it is. The Lord is gathering us, gathering us from the four winds of the earth, man. And says, and for lo, and I will command, and I will save the house of Israel among all the nations, like corn is sifted in the sieve, yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. We say the evil shall not overtake us, shall not overtake nor prevent us. So all people that pretty much think that everything is gonna go back to normal. Guess what? You're going to you're gonna be in for a sore awakening, man. Uh, 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 you're not uh, you're gonna be cut off God. You're not gonna know what hit you, you know. You know, not my Jesus. That's that's the my frame of our people. They think that the Lord do, will not do good, neither will he, will he do evil. And says, um, in that day, and that's exactly what it is. That's exactly the day we're in right now. In that day, will I raise up the tabernacles of David that is fallen and close up the bridges there all. So the Lord is raising us up. You know, the Lord is setting us in order before the eyes of our enemies. You know, to this word, the word is gone. Out like never seen before to the YouTube, the unicorn. It says, In that day will I raise up the tabernacles of David that is fallen and close up the bridges thereof, and I will raise up his wounds and I will build it as in the days of also. Uh, uh, just like uh, when King Solomon was ruling, the whole nation was together, and that's exactly what the Lord is, uh, is uh, pretty much uh, in the process of doing right now. The Lord is uh the Lord Yahweh Shimsha is um uh, uh building up his men, his kingdom in the midst of Israel's kingdom, you know, he's gathering the men among all across the globe and pretty much through the knowledge and pretty much when it's all said and done, the kingdom of heaven is going to be here on earth, man. You know, matter of fact, what was the last precept that I have? Um uh, let's get that real quick. Uh, Psalm fifty of uh, Psalm fifty verse twenty. As a direct quick man, it's gonna be a short lesson. Low volume, it's edifying. Uh, Psalm fifty verse uh, verse twenty says uh, uh matter of fact verse twenty uh, thou sittest and speakest against thy brother, thou slayest thy own mother's son, and that's exactly what it is. Esau is the accuser of 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 his brethren. You know he accused us before of power day and night. You know this there was he has wishes and all look. You know, on the left hand side, you know, uh, complaining day and night to the hand of Father, letting him know, look at your people, look what they're doing, look how they, uh, they dress, look how they talk. Is this your people? You know, he's trying to, uh, uh, uh accuse us before he set up. You know, he saw such a devil. He set up. He set up the condition for people to go off, and he go on the left hand side to to the to and the, um to Yahweh Shimshai and complaining about the condition of our people, man. You know, he's the accuser, man. You know. Uh, uh, no, uh, it says, uh, Doug sitteth and speaketh against our brother, thou slayest that on mother's son. So, Esau is our evil twin brother, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Esau is uh, Jacob's twin brother, and in the Edomites are you so called white people, you know? That's your that's your biblical, uh, that's your biblical nationality. Uh, verse 21 These things hast thou done, I kept silence, thou thoughtest that I was altogether such as one as thyself. So the Lord pretty much set your devils up, right? The Lord allows you to do all kind of wickedness to us because the Lord was with it a while ago, man. For a while, the Lord was with it. The Lord allows you to to do all manner of wickedness to us. Why? Because you are the, the, the sword of the Lord. The Lord raised you uh, uh, over us to, put, to pretty much punish us for us, pretty much uh, 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 for our hard headedness for, for our inequity but right now what is happening the lord is raising us up in the same people that you were that you that you was uh 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 doing all kind of wickedness to guess what the same we're gonna be the one we're, we're gonna be the one executing the judgment of yahweh Shemesha. we're gonna be the one enforcing the law of yahweh Shemesha on you you know it's gonna be uh shooting places man you know uh uh you know the first shall be the last and the last shall be the first man it says, uh, this thing has thou done, I kept silence, thou thoughtest that I was altogether 
such as when I die self. And that's exactly what it is. You devils, you thought the Lord was with you. You thought the Lord was, uh, was pretty much, was, uh, 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 Yahweh Shimshai was going to be with you forever, you know? It says, uh, but I will prove thee and set them in order before thine eyes. So the Lord Yahweh Shimshai is setting us us and is setting us up in order before the eyes of our enemies, man. The fact that we have this knowledge, you know, the fact that we understand uh, what's going to take place, place, right? The fact that we know the future, that's the Lord Yahweh Shimshai, uh, 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 setting us in order, you know, the Lord, uh, uh raise up men, you know, because, uh, before, uh, you war, guess what, you gotta have, a, uh, you gotta have wisdom, even Esau had wisdom on the left-hand side, on the left-hand side toward America, but what's happening right now, the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Shai, is slowly and surely taking away the wisdom out of Esau, and right now, he's giving us wisdom, why, because we are the next rulers of the world to come, man, you know, it takes wisdom to rule the kingdom, you know, uh, it says, uh, it says, uh, these things has thou done, I kept silence, thou thought this, such that I was altogether such as one as thyself, but I will prove thee, so the Lord is reproving you by the, by his mouth, by his mouthpiece, the prophets are the mouthpiece of Yahweh Hashem The Lord says, uh, I will therefore, I will hold my tongue no more as touching the wickedness which the prophetic commit, and that's exactly why the prophets on the scene, the fact that the prophets on the scene is a sign to let you know that Esau is on his way down. It says, uh, These things had thou done, I kept silence, thou thoughtest that I was altogether such as one as thyself, but I will prove thee and set them in order before thine eyes. And that's exactly what the Lord Yahweh Bashim has done. The Lord is uh, setting us in order before the eyes of our enemies. You know, matter of fact, Psalms. You know, Psalms uh, 23, Psalms 23, verse 5, uh, Psalms 23, verse 5, Psalms 23, verse 5, uh, it says, uh, Psalms 23, verse 5, thou prepares a table before me. The table is what? The scriptures. You know, when Moses received the, the commandment from Yahweh, it was on, on a tablet. But right now, we have uh, the phone, we have a... Uh, uh, the, uh, the hard copy of the Bible and also the table that the scripture talks about is the script uh the script the table that the scripture is referring to is the scripture man <laughs> you know uh matter of fact let's put that real quick it's a Habakkuk 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 uh two uh uh matter of fact vision uh Habakkuk says uh uh, Habakkuk 2 and 2 and the Lord answered me and said write the vision and make it plain upon table that he may run that read it so the vision is the scriptures so, you know how you know it says uh, that he may run that read it so the vision of the prophecies and the table is uh, is the, the scriptures man you know you know that's exactly what it is the Lord is preparing a table uh, before us in the face of our enemies matter of fact let's go back to Psalms 23 verse 5, Psalms 23 verse 5, it says, uh, Thou prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. So the Lord is pretty much setting us in order. The Lord is uh, giving us wisdom and we pretty much let our light, uh, our, uh, it says, uh, let your light shine before men. So the Lord gave us this wisdom. We're supposed to let our, our light shine before before uh, b before the whole world, man. You know? It says, uh, Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies that anointed my head with oil, my cup runneth over. And that's exactly what it is, man. You know, and, and this word is uh, ever, ever going. It's like a, a living water. It never stops, man. It never stops, you know. And that's exactly what it is, man. The Lord, Yahweh Shimshai, is setting us in order before enemy. You know, matter of fact, let's get a Luke 7 scene. You know, like I said before, right? The men that you see out there on the highway hedges, you know, these are the kingdom, man. Uh, this are Luke 17, 13, I think. Luke chapter 17, verse 21, right? Matter of fact, no, before I go that, let me go to, let me, let me go to uh, Daniel 2, verse 44. We create Daniel 2, verse 44. Daniel 2 and 44. 
you know this is a time this is the time we're in right then you 2 verse 44 and in the days of these kings, right? So right now, who's willing? Who's willing right now? East was willing. You know, his conglomerate, the NATO, the EU, uh, uh, you know, European, the European Union. You know what I'm saying? Esau is in power right now, right? And in the days of these kings, so Esau, in the light, in the latter days, in the latter days, Esau was going to be in power. That's exactly what the scripture says in um, Second Ezra six verse nine. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob. Is the beginning of it that follows. So before Yahweh shall make his big entrance, Esau, the Edomites, they are going to be in power. And that's exactly how we know that, that, that the Edomites are the so-called white people. It says on uh, uh, Daniel 2 verse 44, And in the days of his kings shall the Messiah, how by Shemesha of heaven, set up a kingdom. So the kingdom is uh, is uh, the men. The kingdom is, is, uh, is uh, the men that is out there. In the hiring hedges, let's prove that real quick. This is uh, Luke 17, Luke chapter 17, Luke 17, and tracing, uh, Luke 17, and tracing, uh, matter of fact, it says Luke uh, 17, verse 21. So, like, yeah, uh, Luke 17, verse 21. I'm sorry, Luke 17, verse 21. It says, uh, verse 20, and when he was demanded. Of the Pharisees, when the kingdom, of, when the kingdom of the Most High shall come, he answered, and he answered them and said, "The kingdom of Yahweh by Shemeshai cometh not with observation. Neither shall they say, Lo here or Lo there, for behold, the kingdom of Yahweh by Shemeshai is within you." So, and that's like what it is. The kingdom are, are the mains, man. The kingdoms of people before place, man. You know, the main that you see out there, the other kingdom. But guess what? They're gonna uh make uh it's it's a, it's a, it's a what do you call it a spiritual temple, right? But uh, ultimately, it's gonna be physical, you know. When Yahusha comes and pretty much reclaim what's his, within the earth, man, you know, and and pretty much raise up his nation and uh, and give them power and dominion to rule the earth in righteousness. Um, matter of fact, let's go back to Daniel two verse forty four, you know, in in Daniel two verse. 4, in the, the 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 second chapter, it talks about the uh 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 uh, uh the the uh the rock that destroyed the statue. And that rock is who is Yahweh Shai, man. It's gonna be the one that's gonna take down this uh a Greco Roman society, which is being governed uh, by Esau Edom. Uh, Daniel two verse forty four. Uh, Daniel two verse forty four, and it says on. Uh, and in the days of these kings, right now, shall the Most High Yahweh Shah of Heaven set up a kingdom, we shall never be destroyed. So once Yahweh Shah comes and take these devils down and, and 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 establish his kingdom in the earth, guess what? We will never go down any moment. Why? We are go. We are going to be perfect. You no, know, we are going to be perfect because we're gonna have no bodies. The Lord gonna be in our inward part, and we will never go off. Never again, man. It says, uh, it says uh, and in the days of these kings shall the Messiah, how Bashim shall of heaven, set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed, and the kingdom shall not be left to other people. No, the kingdom shall not be left to other people, right? But it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms, and it shall stand forever. And that's exactly what it is, right? Because Jehoshua is going to come back as a conquering lion. You know, it's going to conquer. All you other nations, you you Chinese, you Japanese, you uh, you 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 Russians, you uh uh you uh 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 you uh Arabs, you think in your in your mind that you you know that America is going down. You think that you're gonna have next. You think that you're gonna be in in next uh in line to war. Guess what? The prophecy clearly says uh, for Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. So when Esau uh 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 get taken down by Yahweh Shai. The next uh kingdom to come is the kingdom of Yahweh Shai by the fall, the king of Israel, man. That's exactly what's coming. And right now the Lord Yahweh Bashim Shai is setting us in order before our enemies by giving us wisdom, knowledge and under and understanding. Because uh before you can walk, you gotta have wisdom. You gotta have knowledge, man. And that's exactly what it is, man. The Lord Yahweh Bashim Shai is raising up his kingdom in the midst of our enemies, and uh, that's exactly what it is, man. So, 
the Lord Yahweh Shemeshai is uh, setting us in order before our enemy's eyes, man. So that was a lesson, and I hope this was edifying. I want to give all praises and honor and a glorification due to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Mokakadash. Double honor to the head apostles and elders of Great Mosul and Jemes Hawalwa. And our peace and blessings to the hopefully like Akiam out there laboring in this ministry, pushing this gospel all across the globe in righteousness, in sincerity, and in truth. On the next time, shalom. Wa, or bod, bod,